It's interesting. One kind of ice was the normal kind that we've all seen. They took cores of it out of boreholes in the ground. Just like normal ice, it was mostly clear and sometimes white, and it would melt into liquid water if it got warm. The whole area of Antarctica is covered in this kind of ice. But that wasn't their main kind of ice. The only time I ever saw them actually studying normal ice was when a film crew from National Geographic came by. The rest of the time, <laughs> which was most of the time, the scientists were studying something they called sky ice. This stuff was totally different. We were never allowed to go into the laboratory areas of the station because the labs had to be kept super clean and they said it would mess up their work if they risked letting too many people in the lab. But one time, one of the researchers that I was friends with showed me a piece of sky ice. You couldn't touch the stuff with your bare hands because it was so cold and it wasn't clear or white like normal ice. It was solid blue, he said. That's why they call it sky ice because it was the exact same color as the sky. We had to wear a thick, heavy going outside gloves to handle it. The stuff was so cold, it would instantly freeze your skin if you touched it. I don't remember what the temperature he said it was, but it was something like hundreds of degrees below zero, way colder than the normal ice that was outside. He had to carry it in a metal bottle that was kind of like a thermos. He let me play with the piece of it for a while it felt lighter than a piece of normal ice of the same size, like it wasn't very heavy at all. It almost felt like you could throw it up in the air and it would just float back down. But I didn't try that. And it was also a little flexible when I tried to bend it. It didn't break like normal ice would. And even for a small piece, you could see through it. It was solid blue right from the surface. And here's the really weird part. It didn't melt into water. When it got warm, because we had it inside, it just started to shrink. It got smaller and smaller, but my glove never got wet. And there was no water on the floor. The stuff just turned into thin air when it got warm and vaporized. He said that was the reason why they had to study the stuff right there in Antarctica. You couldn't take the sky ice back to America to study it because it was almost impossible to keep it cold enough during transit. And then they shared a verse right here where it says, And above the firmament that was over their heads was the likeness of a throne as the appearance of a sapphire stone. And upon the likeness of the throne was the likeness as the appearance of a man above upon it. And then we continue.